Hi, this is David Griffith, editor of Police Magazine. I'm here with Officer Matt Medeiros of uh, the Boynton Beach Police Department. We're at Police Week uh, 2011, and uh, Officer Medeiros is the uh, January 2010 Officer of the Month from the uh, National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund. Uh, Officer Medeiros, tell us about the incident that led you to be named uh, Officer of the Month for 2010, January. Well, on uh, August 18th, 2008, I showed up to work at around 3.30 in the afternoon, um, just like any other day. Um, while, we were, while I was in the station, I'd, we received a call where there was a shots fired from a vehicle. Um, we responded out to that general location to try to locate the vehicle, a green Nissan. Um, myself and Officer Arco, Michael Arco um, posted our positions on southbound I-95 from the Wol Wolbright Road exit, and uh, where that at that time uh, Michael Arco um, located the vehicle um, on the side of the roadway. Um, the vehicle sped off, and the pursuit started uh, from there on. Uh, the pursuit lasted about 37 minutes through two counties. Um, throughout the whole time, the suspect was attempting to elude our, our capture, refusing to stop, and trying to strike several officers during the pursuit. Um, the pursuit came to a stop uh, in the city of Delray Beach, Palm Beach County, Florida, which sits just south of uh, Boynton Beach. Um, the suspect exited the vehicle and I gave chase. I tried to parallel the suspect on foot. Um, he ran behind and in between um, uh, several residences. Um, at that time, the suspect passed by me, which he didn't see where I was coming from. Um, I gave chase, followed behind him, and as we're coming, as I was chasing him around, uh, one of the residences nearby, from what I was told, his main residence, uh, the suspect's residence, that is. Uh, I saw uh, Sergeant, Sergeant McNevin, Richard McNevin, um, try to take the su suspect in custody, and that was at the time that the uh, suspect shot. Sergeant McNevin in the stomach. Um, Sergeant uh, fell to the ground, said he shot me, and fired several rounds, and just kept pursuing the uh, suspect until there was um, a sufficient space between Sergeant McNevin and the suspect. Um, during that time, uh, Sergeant Hapcrawl our department. Uh, I observed him to my left firing several rounds from his rifle. Um, Officer Arco uh, also fired several times. Sergeant, Cr Sergeant Crane Baker from the Delray Police Department was also involved. And um, after I was able to determine that uh, there was other officers there to basically uh, take the initiative with the suspect. I returned back to Sergeant McNevin and uh, applied pressure to his wound. Okay. Well, what kinds of speeds did you reach on that pursuit? Um, it varied. Um, there was uh, spike strips deployed, um, which um, blew some of the tires up, but it Got up to 100, um, maybe 110. Wow. It varied. And uh, you said the uh, suspect uh, t tried to hit um, the officers. I assume the officers trying to lay the, s the spike strips. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah, we have a number of those types of incidents. Um, when you got to the suspect's mother's house, that's where he was headed, correct? Yes. Um, uh, and he was. He ran out toward Officer McNiven and shot Officer McNiven. Is that 
what happened in that incident? Correct. All right. You're being very humble here. You actually got between the wounded Officer McNiven and the gunman and returned fire. Isn't that correct? Yes. Okay. Um, what in your training prepared you to do that? Um, I don't know. I, I really can't explain it. I just did it. Did you know think about it before you... No. It was just a... A reflexive action? Yes. Okay. Uh, how long have you been on the Boynton Beach Police Department? Uh, five years this month. <clears throat> Thank you very much. <laughs>